Hey, Fred from the Laptop Barn here. Today we're going to show you how to change the battery in a Dell Latitude 5410 laptop. This uh, is one of uh, the newer laptops that uses a flat internal battery, so you have to do some disassembly to get the battery in there. Um, the tools you'll need to do this job are um, a Phillips screwdriver. We use a Phillips number one. Um, a little pry tool helps. And then a battery, which uh, I buy all my used batteries right on eBay. It's a Type 3 HWPP, 15.2 volts, 68 watt hours. I'll put that down in the description of this um, down below. Um, Again, I buy mine right on eBay, the easiest place, about 25 to 30 bucks. Okay, now, to get started, um, I did mention that this is going to be a 5410 Dell Latitude laptop. Uh, nice model. The uh, battery is on the bottom. So the first thing you're going to need to do is turn the laptop over and there are going to be eight Phillips screws around the perimeter so the first step here is just unscrew those eight screws they're in they're captured washers on them so that's kind of nice they won't come out so go ahead and undo those eight screws and that will allow you to remove that bottom base, which is held by the eight screws and some little plastic retaining fing fingers. So once you've uh, unscrewed the screws, you're going to pr need to pry it up slightly. Don't break anything, but just get it started in the corner. And then work your way around with a pry tool or with your finger and it will snap off. That's all there is to it. Now you've exposed the insides and there's the battery. It has a connector that's just pushed on with a little aid ribbon there that allows you to grab and pull. And that's all there is to it. It just unpulls off the connection. Um, typically they're held by one or two screws. This one's got one in it. Um, undo the screw. And then the uh, battery... You'll be able to pull the battery out. Um, now, there's a cable on there. You can reuse the cable if your new battery doesn't have a cable, because uh, usually the cable's fine. So what you can do is take that cable off and use it on your new battery. In my sample here, my battery already had a cable, so... Um, but usually you're going to buy it and it's not going to come with a cable. So you got to save that cable. And then uh, I'm going to put that cable right back on the battery I took out because it was actually a good battery. But this would be the process to put your new battery in. You put that cable on it. It's got a little pouch there that helps you route it. Now you locate it on the bottom and then push the top down to seat and then you're going to seat that connector don't force it when you get it in position it'll just push on real easy you get it there and all you have to do is just press down on it with your thumb and you're electrically connected now you make sure that's mechanically in its pouch and we had one screw to this held it in and we're going to tighten that screw down it's held by a couple of other of the retaining screws that come through the back of the case that you're going to assemble in a minute. That's why there's only one. Okay, now you just, I usually locate these at the bottom and then push it down at the top. It'll snap. You'll hear those little plastic fingers snapping it into place. Once you've got it into place, you can go ahead and reassemble um, the eight screws that are holding the bottom case on. Now, I didn't power this back up before I put the back on. I would highly recommend you do that just in case you didn't get something in there right. That way you don't have to completely take it apart again. 
But for demonstration purposes here, I'm going ahead and showing you how to assemble the eight screws. Uh, but that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. If you like this, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and uh, good luck with your project. This is Fred from the Laptop Barn, over and out.